What is up, sucker faces? Yeah, so welcome back to another map. This one was uh, quite a simple idea, but I think it came out really nice. And it's uh, it it all takes place around clone commands. I was messing around with them, and I finally came up with something that's really cool. And let's just jump right into it. So head to your ship. So basically, what you do is you get a ship. We can see we're in space here. You get a ship. You get uh, a home planet, which is right here, your home planet. And then you get to go to a random planet, or you can go to the current planet that your ship is docked at. So let's go to our home planet. Let's uh, fly on over to the home planet. So you can see our home planet is pretty roughed up. It's not in good condition. So what we're trying to do is just trying to make the best home planet we can with... Uh, with everything we can salvage from all these planets. So if we go to our if we go to the current planet we're docked at, we can see it's very it's very normal. It's got grass. Um, so you can see it's all grass all the way down. If we if we were to mine in here, we would get some ore, we'd get stone, all that good stuff. And then we got a nice tree. And you know, it's just a normal planet, but if we go back into our ship and we want to fly to a new planet, we can click random planet, it will generate a random planet name. So this one's going to be G A it's just going to be G A or no, it's going to be G A 8, but it was a little slow on generating it. And we're going to arrive in 0 seconds and we're going to get a new planet. So we got the same old tree. This time we actually got a villager. So what kind of trade do you have? Coal for the emeralds. Actually, that's not bad. And then Emeralds for the helmet. I mean, we could get iron easily, so I'm sorry, villager. You're not going to do much for us. But yeah, so we got this. We got a regular tree. We got a, a, this uh, diorite sort of um, planet. See, there's, there's some lapis we can get. And look at this. If we look down, we're in space. How cool is that? I thought that was so cool when I, when I uh, found that out. If you give the player blindness and they're high enough up and they look down, they can see stars on the ground. Like, that's crazy. So now it just gives the illusion that you're in space, and it looks super cool. I mean, the clouds kind of don't give the illusion, but um, you can't take those off without eliminating the stars as well, which kind of sucks. So let's go to another planet. Let's go to G G9. We're going to GG9. All right, let's see what this one's all about. So basically what's happening... Is we're going to go to a planet. Oh, this guy's going to stay here too. Nice. This tree is... We're getting the same tree over and over again. Here, let's go to... Here, let's go to another one. Because I want to get a new tree. We're going to go to L... A... 8. It looks like 8 is, is always delayed. I don't know why. Alright. And give us a new tree. What's going on with the tree, dude? Here, let me break these. We're gonna have so many mobs. Let me break those just to see if if the something's bugging out or if it's really actually just kind of QC6. If it's really giving us the same tree over and over again. Because that's funny if it is. Oh, there we go. We got a new tree. I guess it was giving us the same exact tree. That's, that's uh, very unlikely, but it happened. And actually, this one is perfect because we got mushroom with the mushroom. So that goes perfectly. So basically what's happening is it's going to clone a, a default planet uh, sort of template here. So this one's the mushroom planet. There's nine planets, nine planet templates for the bottom, nine different trees, and then there's nine mobs that it can set on here. So we have different alien life that you run into. So we already know you. And, of course, they'll stay on here if you generate a new planet. So, let's generate one more. Let's have a look at it. Because I want to wanna get some some good planets up in here. There's only one planet with diamonds in it. I will say that. So, we're going to LI6. We're going to get a prismarine. And, ooh, look at this one. It's an obsidian tree with some soul sand. So, get some obsidian and go to the nether and whatnot. And look at all these mobs spawning. So that's, I mean, that's basically it. I thought it was a really cool idea because it's a, it's generating a random planet with a random name every single time you go to a new planet. And a random mob. You got a random tree. All that good stuff. The ore in there is, uh, is uh, directly related to what planet template you land on. And that's pretty much it. All you're trying to do is 
soup up your your home planet to make it look epic to make it the the best home planet you can make it let's show you one more time this is our home planet not looking too good so that's what we're trying to do we're trying to make a great home planet and that is about it guys we got an ender chest too in the in the ship just so it just so you can store all your goodies in the ship you can play with as many people as you want and this it'll work just fine um i will adv uh tell you that when you are getting a new planet do not jump onto the planet before it it uh spawns in because say you already have blocks broken which you will then you'll jump into the blocks that are broken the planet will spawn on top of you or like spawn around you and you'll be stuck inside the planet it won't be good for you so don't do that and also there's bedrock at the bottom of each planet so you're you're okay to dig down so you won't have to worry about falling all the way down and dying or falling into space and never ever coming back so that's about it guys i thought it was a really cool idea let me know what you think as always the download is in the description um i think that's about it guys so if you liked it make sure to drop a like if you really liked it make sure to subscribe and i will see all of your beautiful faces later